Hi, this is Trish Kelly, owner of Australian Labradoodles Midwest Connection. I am here with Sierra and Maverick's litter of six puppies. We have four girls and two boys. I'm going to start here going right down the line with this first big boy, Rocco, spelled R-O-C-C-O. I hope I'm pronouncing it that right. Um, stunning boy with the orange collar, great red fleece coat. Um, just a big, big boy, and a great, great big blocky square head, and thick boning. Look at the legs on him. This is going to be a very thick, thick, beautiful puppy. I'm guessing will weigh in the 35 to there he is crying 35 to 38 pound range when he's full grown. <laughs> he doesn't know where Mama is. These guys have their eyes closed yet. Beautiful boy. <laughs> And then the next one is the purple collar. That's our Bailey. She is gorgeous too and probably just as big. I'm going to pull Bailey over here. Oh my goodness. These puppies are so gorgeous. Purple collar on her with the little white splotch on her head. Um, just a stunning pup with the straight coat. There, That's Rocco crying a little bit. He's, he wanted to get by Mama. I'm going to put him up here on a teat while I show you Bailey more. Bailey, too, has a great coat. Holy cow. Just gorgeous with the straight coat and the black nose. Beautiful puppy. Big yawn. And Mama's going to kiss her, kiss her up. That's our Bailey. Just a beautiful girl. After ba Bailey, we have Holly. Holly has the pink collar. Let me find the pink collar right here. Oh, she's just a, <laughs> these girls are all huge and beautiful puppies. There's the pink collar and big spot on her forehead. She's looking for a teat, which I just pulled her off her. Really nice straight coat. Um, just a gorgeous, gorgeous girl. Let's see if I can get her face up here. Oh, she's so pretty. Hey, Lucy. Hi. Beautiful pup. Oh, my gosh. And again, thick boning, which is what I breed for. Nice straight coat. Uh, just a beautiful, beautiful girl. That is Holly. And after Holly, we have Lucy. Lucy is the semi oh the curlier one right here, right next to right next to Holly. This is Lucy, just a beautiful girl. She's going to have a really nice wavy coat to her. Get, get her in the light a little more. There's our Holly. Oh my gosh, is she cute. Black nose, gorgeous coat. She's going to be probably in the, oh, 28 to 30 pound range. A little bit smaller than the other ones uh, as far as the build. She's a little bit more slight than the other ones. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous puppy. She is really cute with her uh, waviness to her coat. You can see them just, their eyes are closed, but they sense where to go get the, the juice from here. So they're all moving up and getting, uh, latching on a teat now. After Lucy, we have, uh, I'm just going to say Edmund's puppy. And that, they don't have a name yet. So let me find here. here. Oh, she's so cute. Wait. Yep, yep, yep. There she is. Brown collar, beautiful head, nice stocky face, blot, a little blotch on her forehead. Um, toes are tipped in white. In the back, too. Oh my gosh, she's just a mover and a shaker here. I'm going to put her out here so she's got to move for you. There's our puppy that doesn't have a name yet, but oh my gosh, stunning. Great coat on her really thick and blocky. She's going to be a little shorter than than the other ones, but she's going to probably be just as probably the same weight almost because she's so thick. She is really a thick girl. I love this look. I like a real thick body and in fact all of her toes are tipped. Isn't that cute? Front and back. See the back ones? Oh my gosh, cute. So she is all four toes tipped in white. Let's see if she can find her way one more time here. And then the last puppy is the yellow collar, and that is Trooper. And Trooper is right here. Move Trooper over. 
Troopers got the yellow collar. Uh, all the pups have black noses, and this one, Trooper's got a spot on his head. Just beautiful puppies. Again, uh, all the toes are tipped in white. I just think that's so cute. So uh, th those are just called mismarks, and it's a real positive thing. Many people just are waiting for a puppy with those kind of marks on them. So that is Trooper. Let me pull Trooper out one more time. So you can see that nice, thick head, and again... This, this guy's going to weigh, weigh in the 30, 35 or more pounds. Just gorgeous puppies. And Sierra's going to love up on a little. I'm going to turn this pool they're in so I can just video the pups for a minute here. It's okay, Sierra. There, we can see them all now. She's such a good mama. Let's get Trooper over there. There. So you can just see them all suckling away there. They're just doing fantastic. At just a little, little, or a one week of age, actually. My next litter that's coming down the pike is my uh, nutmeg that was bred to Maverick, and she's she had a number of breedings. I'm pretty sure she took, but we'll I will uh, make that known for sure as soon as um, about a month passes. That's when you can really tell. Um, this is so cute. The one that doesn't have a name is trying so hard to get under her leg to get to a teat. I'm going to just pick him up and move him a little so he can get in a group there. There. So, um, anyway, so Nutmeg is due at the end of August. And um, she's going to produce some gorgeous pups, I'm sure, also. And then we've got uh, Breezy, Billy Jean, uh, Barley May... And there's one other I can't think of right now, but that will be coming into heat and be bred um, next. And, uh, you know, they'll come into heat before, during this year yet. So any time, actually, I'm waiting for those girls to come into heat and be bred. So we should have plenty of puppies come fall into winter. And, um, oh, she's just being such a good mom. <laughs> so there's lots of activity. The, um, the, Puppies here are doing fantastic, and then I've got three other litters that are with trainers right now, learning their basics, uh, commands that go home, what we teach them before they go home, which we start crate training at six weeks and beginning house training, and then we teach the puppies to sit and lay down just to show how smart they are and how um, eager they are to learn. I use the Life's Abundance training treats that you can purchase through my website, these puppies are also, aside from this litter yet, they're too young, but the other litters, they're all eating the Life's Abundance um, grain-free dog food and doing very well on it. So um, you can just see how, the, how healthy these puppies are and just fighting their way in to get a teat. But um, I've been kind of very much spoiling Nutmeg, and she is producing milk constantly for them, so she's getting a lot of good stuff to eat. So if you're interested in a future puppy, don't hesitate. My wait list is always growing. And uh, you can go to the Contact Us tab of my website and just shoot me a little email, and I will turn around and send you two forms. One's called my introductory letter, which will really explain just about or answer just about any question you have, followed by my um, puppy application. You would submit that with $300. That gets you on my wait list. As the puppies are born and the litters are born, I go right down my wait list. You have the option to take a puppy or pass on it and wait for another litter. The full price is $2,500, $300. Um, to get on the wait list, deposit basically, and then 2200 at time of puppy pickup. After um, the first of the year, January 1st, 2016, I will be raising my prices for puppies to 2800 So it's best to get in now if you want one. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great 4th of July, and uh, we'll see you in a week. Thank you.